I'm working on the motor now. And these are the pistons that are going in. Uh, this is the stock piston. 74 millimeters, I believe, is what the stock ones were. And then this is a 78 millimeter MTC ZX11 turbo piston. Um, the motor is, the bottom end of the motor is mechanically stock. There's one or two other little things that I do to it uh, in order to get the turbo to work. And uh, when I get to those, I'll, I'll make a little video and, and show you those. All right. Okay, so um, in order to get a 78 millimeter bore into the EX500, uh, you have to re-sleeve it. And when you re-sleeve it, um, you need to split the cases and have this machined. Uh, it, it doesn't need to be machined a lot. Um, it's just enough for the new sleeves to clear and sit center so that the pins will align. Um, even if the pins don't align with the new sleeves in it, it will not uh, sink down into the cases and um, the bottom of the block and the surface of the case will not mate. So these have to be opened up in order for the sleeves to fit down into the top case. Um, I do not have mine actually machined because it's not a lot that needs to come off. Um, I just get a air sander and I just sand them down, um, grind them down a little bit until the, uh, the block slides down over the top and then reassemble the motor. But that has to be done with the larger sleeves or it will not fit. Alright, so the motor's 99% together. All the important stuff is there. I've just got the ignition generator cover to put back on and the oil pan that has the return line for the turbo. Um, I put the turbo on there real quick just so you can see what it's going to look like and how it's mounted. Uh, my beautiful Gorilla Snot welds. And if you know, if I if I just knew somebody, maybe a, a friend that you know, maybe I raced with or something that that could put a nice TIG weld around that, and made it look good. But anyway, um, there's the turbo. I have the ignition, or I'm sorry, the emission control um, plates blocked off, and then I turned them around backwards so that they face forward instead of to the rear, just to get these out of the way. Uh, but they're blocked off internally. And other than that, it's ready to bolt in the frame. I'm going to do a little bit of welding on the frame today, maybe get the, um, the subframe put in and maybe the, um, the solo seat mounted. But uh, that's the motor.